hello friends welcome to java awt series here we are going to create pop-up menu then when you click the pop-up menu i mean the pop-up menu item the background color of the frame window will change so here is the prerequisite so you have to watch 04 awt that's the playlist and that uh, playlist uh, in that playlist uh, watch the very first video to know how to create a frame window because uh, this video won't discuss about creating the frame window and we will create pop-up menu on top of this uh, frame window So this is the pop-up menu. So if you see here, um, a pop-up menu, to display a pop-up menu, we need a container. The container can be a frame or a dialog. So that's one thing. So we need a container. Then we need to tell in uh, which location we want to display the frame window so we will specify x and y coordinate so this is origin 0 comma 0 in the container and this one specifies our x location similarly this represents our y location so we will specify this point uh, then we will display the pop-up menu so these lines here so these are all menu items so just like normal menu you can add menu items to the pop-up window so to add these menu items you can use the add method and pop-up menu can be created using the class So this is the instance you have to create. So pop-up menu, first you have to create instance of this pop-up menu. Then using the add method, you can add menu items. So that means you can create one or more menu items, then you can add it to the pop-up menu. So first to create an instance, then add menu items to your pop-up menu. After that, add your pop-up menu to the container so the container can be anything as already told it can be a frame or it can be a dialogue or it can be a applet so applets are outdated we can say frame and dialogue so once menu items are added to the pop-up menu then we can add this uh, pop-up menu to the container finally we can make a call to show method so this show method needs three parameters so one is the parent so this parent tells the container next second parameter is the x location and third parameter is the y location so in this example what we are going to do we need to display the pop-up menu at x and y location so to get this x and y location we will implement mouse listener so in the mouse listener we will handle the click event especially the right click then once user right clicks their mouse we will get x and y location in the container so parameter 2 is now available and 3 also available because of mouse listener then parent so this parent it can be a frame or dialogue so that also we can pass 
so once we do all this uh, menu pop up menu will be displayed so to change the background color so this is one listener right for each menu item we have to you um, register that with uh, action listener then uh, from inside the action listener we will change the background color of our um, um, a container so the container can be frame or dialog so now we will see an uh, example so as already told um, this is the code written from the video one of this series so first we create a frame a frame in from which is extending from frame then in the program entry we will create that frame in then we will make it as uh, visible so inside the class first we will uh, declare the required members class members so if you see here we are using the pop-up menu from java.awt package so this is the class we will use to display the pop-up menu then these are all the four menu items that we will add to our uh, pop-up menu so these menu items also from java.awt so next uh, inside the con constructor we will create our menu items there are four menu items right so we will create all these four menu items so we are creating menu items are as a light gray gray dark gray and reset all these menu items will produce action event why because when uh, we click the menu item we want to change the background color of the container that means the frame so the frames background color we want to change when user clicks this uh, any of these menu items so we will say it action command so that in the action performed method we can know which menu item is clicked by the user so here we are setting the action command as lg mg dg or lg stands for light gray mg gray that means medium gray then dg dark gray or is reset reset in the sense this will reset the uh, frames background color to white so we created all these four menu items and we set action command to it now we will create our pop-up menu so we just created our pop-up menu then to the pop-up menu we are adding our four menu items and in between we are adding a separator also so light gray gray and dark gray will be displayed after that a line will be displayed that's what the, the add separator will do then after that we are adding the reset menu item at the last so just want to separate the reset with uh, other three menu item we added a separator so now menu item and pop-up menu is ready now we will try to display this uh, pop-up menu on the uh, mouse right click location so for that we have to implement mouse listener So once we put mouse listener, we will get add and implemented methods. So here we are going to handle mouse clicked and other event we don't want to handle. So let me pass and do some cleanup.
so that's all i just removed those override keyword it is not safe but uh, here since this is just for demo purpose for easy code readability i just removed uh, those override keyword so the presence of that override keyword will warn you if you accidentally changed the uh, method so from caps p if you change it to p it won't comply but if i put the override keyword then it will state that you are not overriding a method all right so anyhow for readability purpose i removed those and these are all the dummy implementation here we will implement a mouse click before that we need to register our uh, frame window with the mouse listener so that it will receive the mouse event and we can handle all these uh, actions mouse click press released entered and exit so for our example we just want to handle mouse click only all right now we will add our pop-up menu to the frame window this one then we are registering the frame window with a mouse listener so this is the key step most of the developer will miss that and wonder why their pop-up menu is not displaying why oh, because your pop-up menu requires a, uh, a parent container so first the pop-up menu should add it to the container so now our frame window is the so this frame so now this frame java awt frame is the parent for the pop-up menu so this will establish the relation so container is now frame window and in that container we are going to display the pop-up uh, uh, menu next we go to our mouse clicked and we will handle that if you see here we are receiving the mouse event e and here we are checking get button mouse event dot button 3 that means we are checking whether the clicked button is a uh, right click so if if you want to check for middle then you have to put button 3 for left click you can use uh, the uh, conditional check as a button 1 so this is just to check which button user clicked so in our example we are going to display the pop-up menu when user clicks the right mouse button here we make use of our pop-up menu instance then we make call to the show method and if you see show method requires an origin so here origin will be our um, um, frame window so that's the parent and then we are getting the x and y location so we want to show our pop-up menu between in this location x and y and if you see just like button and other controls if you if we have a button then um we we can see it visible or we can show that button in the container so just like that here we are showing the pop-up menu because we added the pop-up menu so here frame window is acting as a container pop-up menu is acting as a component here we are just showing that pop-up menu and we are telling what is the container for this uh, pop-up menu we pass this that means uh, frame window is the container after that we pass uh, x and y coordinate location that we take from the mouse event so e dot get x will uh, tell the x location e dot get y will tell the y location now we will run this so x and y locations are from here origin so this will be x location and this will be y location so now wherever i click my right click my mouse the pop-up window will appear and if you see this is the pop-up menu but it doesn't do anything at present because we need to handle the uh action event from these menu items so now we will go to our uh, frame window so we already implemented uh, 
mouse listener and here now we will implement action listener also once i opt for id provided option it it provided the skeleton code or some people call it as a boilerplate code for the action performed uh, method so here we will handle the uh, action event from our uh, menu items so to handle the action event we need to register all four menu item with action listener so l gray medium gray dark gray reset we made a call to add action listener and we are passing this so this means the instance which implemented the action listener here in this case a frame window our frame ability frame extended class frame bin implements the action listener so we are passing that so inside the action listener if you see here we are already setting the action command we will retrieve that action command using the get action command after this we will form a switch case which will handle the action performed event and if you see our okay let's um, import java.awt so get action command which will retrieve the action then based on that retrieved action we are forming the switch case and if you see here are our action command lg mg dg r based on that we are forming the action uh, i mean the switch case statement so if it is lg then we say background that means we said background is the frame windows function that is not dot dot notation that means we are directly making a function call that means we are making call to our uh, frames uh, function frame or any of its a uh, super class so set background color dot light gray then gray dark gray and white based on the condition we are setting the background color and if you see if it is reset we are setting white so because that's the default background uh, color in this example but some frame window may have a different background color when it is loaded that means here we are arbitrarily using white because we know that's the color of this frame window but if you want to know the exact color of the frame window then you have to retrieve the background color in the construction time after that you can uh, uh, use that color to reset all right now we implemented everything now let's run it so if i click light gray the color will change to red gray dark gray gray and you can even reset that's all in this video demo Thank you for watching. Bye. If you like the channel, subscribe it to get the updates. Thanks again. Bye.